it has taken me many hours to recover from the shock, the shock of yesterday's upset mm -hmm. with Maryland yeah. of Baltimore County, UMBC, you must be Cinderella, winning over Virginia, dominating Virginia. Key, what did you think of that game? Good. No, it wasn't good. Not for some people. What do you really think, Key? Huh? Really, really good. No. Who doesn't feel good about it? Remember who we talked about? Virginia. Yeah, they lost, right? Yeah. Yeah, and who went there? Um, Dave. Yeah, Dave. So what do you say to Dave? Um, sorry, Dave. Your team is lost. Oh, that's right. That's right. Dave's team has lost. Key, what are you going to do with this hat now? Whoa! They're out! Watching the second half of that game uh, was pretty amazing because not only was UMBC uh, building a lead, but it, it, there was just no feel whatsoever that Virginia was going to come back. There was no feel at all. When the lead got to eight points, I turned to my friend who was over my house and said, this is 50-50 right now. They can win this game. And then they scored eight more points, and all of a sudden it's 45-29 with 12 minutes left. And that's when I started offering to bet people and uh, was happy to pick up an extra 200 bucks um, on uh, the outcome. Despite my putrid picks, that is more than most of you will win in this pool. Thank you, by the way, to Remington Ramsey for quickly paying up his uh, $100 that he lost in the bet. Props to Scott Graham. By the way, Scott Graham. Okay, that's it now. Prop, your part's over. Props to Scott Graham, uh, last year's caboose, for getting 15 out of 16 correct on Friday. A remarkable showing. 15 for 16. Amazing. And Scott is leading the pool with 27 out of 32 correct for round one. Nice work. But... Scott has Arizona to win the championship. He also happens to have Marshall in the final four. Yes, you heard that correct. So, Scott, you're out also. Uh, but you're in first place right now. John Kane and Brandon Oot with 26 for 32 are lurking right behind Scott. And then rounding out our Elite Eight with 25 for 32, we have former champion Earl Kelly. We have Don Hill. We have John Israel, Connor Morita, and Fonz Jenkins. That makes our Elite Eight for right now. Fine showings were also turned in uh, this uh, last couple days by former champion Jim McGowan, Jeremy Bell, John Kane Jr., Phil Bolander, Robert Gonzalez, Chad Vordenberg, uh, Jake Miser, Peter Schneider, Poncho and Poncho Via Weenie, who I think's named Andres Rios, uh, all of whom Checked in with 24 out of 32. We have an epic battle going on right now for the prestigious top chick honors in the pool as there is a many-way tie with 23 for 32. Casey Sanders, Allison Scovey, two-time champion Rebecca Flowers, Rachel Dowd, and Natalie Lanning-Gonzalez. Nice job. Uh, if you got 20, 21, 22, 23... Uh, you avoid mention here for today. Um, but at the bottom end of the spectrum, we had those people who were so feeble, so feeble that they could muster up only 19 out of 32. Jason Evers. Jason Evers. Brian Mormon. Brian Joe Dukey. And Chris Niku. 19 out of 32. Feeble. <laughs> However, worse than that... Okay, time for you to go that way. Worse than that was 18 for 32. A wretched 18 for 32. Steven Zhang, Tanya Duca, James Crittenden, Nick Buckaloo, Kyle Steinfeld, and, yes, my illustrious self, I am so ashamed to have gotten 18 for 32 correct. I was 1 for 8 on the 8, 9, and 7, 10 matchups. Terrible, terrible outcome. Uh, at the last minute, 
at the last minute, I decided to change. Okay, Key, please. I need to finish, okay? At the last minute, I decided to change um, South Dakota State. No, South Dakota State over Ohio State. At the last minute, I had Florida advancing three rounds and decided to change that so they would lose to St. Bonaventure. That was dumb. And I end up with 18 for 32. But we all beat one person. That is right. The caboose in potter position. Last place. The bowels of the pool standings. With 17 for 32. Ty Wilder. Nice job. Uh, we do have some unpaid entries at this point. John Rulin, please pay up, although we're sure we'll get that one. We also have a James M. unpaid. His name in the pool is Bear Path MC. Who knows who that is? We have a Mary Beth Schellengowski unpaid in the pool. And we have Scott Smith unpaid in the pool. Please help to collect those last few payments if you know who those people are. Uh, Austin Robinson paid for his pool but did not enter a bracket. Thank you, Austin. If you happen to be watching this video, Tom will accept your 50 bucks as a tip. Uh, also, Rocky Pride entered half a bracket. Uh, his name is Brian Not So Sharp. Entered half a bracket in the pool and gave up, apparently. Probably uh, was uh, well advised to give up rather than continue. Our payouts. The leaders, the leaders at the end of Sunday, are going to get uh, two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, and one hundred and fifty dollars. The leaders at the end of Sunday are going to get two hundred dollars and one hundred and fifty dollars. I want to watch ABC. All right, and the elite eight are going to get number eight. We'll get one hundred and fifty dollars. Number seven will get two fifty. Number six will get four hundred. Number five will get five fifty. Number four will get 700. Number three will get 900. Payouts for number two and number one are pending the last few collections. But two will get uh, 1150 or 1200. And number one will get 15 to 1600. This is my life, by the way, right now. Um, 23 people still have all of their final four still alive. And several people have 15 of 16 available today. Chad Bordenberg, John Kane, Jip, Nostradamus, Nixon. Uh, nice job. Um, some weekend highlights uh, for Saturday. Two number ones are in action, Kansas and Villanova. Two big underdogs are in action, Loyola and Buffalo. Best matchups are all later on in the evening tonight with Ohio State Gonzaga, Florida, Texas Tech, and Houston, Michigan. Really looking forward to see the Wolverines get ousted. Sunday, there'll be two in-state battles with Butler and Purdue, also uh, Marshall and West Virginia, and then can UMBC continue its run versus Kansas State? We'll find out on Sunday. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll be back on Sunday after all the games. See you later. Say bye-bye, Kiki. Bye-bye.